Yo, 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 how is everybody doing? It's Goldtooth, welcome to Goldtooth Gaming. Bring up! Oh yes, hope you're doing well, keeping safe, keeping sexy. You know how we do up in here. So, people will be aware, um, I had one video took down because somebody grasped me up. Um, that was classes, sex and nudity, I think. Because I had to take a test. And I got a strike on that one. Um, I uploaded again. For the reason why. Why the video got took off. Etc. Well the person who grasped obviously didn't like the video. Because within no time it was took off for harassment and bullying. Really? I don't even know. But the video was stopped up this time. So that's all good. And yeah, I apologise, some people might have thought it was a new video, that's why I put a piece in the middle, just explaining, you know. But yeah, everybody, big up. So, we've got some pickups today. Pick up, pick up! Yes. So in the previous video, I was explaining that comments vanish, um, they just disappear into thin air, ooh, ooh whatever. I have comments disappearing, I know people who've left me comments, who've mentioned that the comments gone, etc. Then, Axis Area 6 Kev, he will mention in his previous video that he was responding to somebody's comment about a controller. And he was describing the Duke controller as the Xbox Fat Controller. Well, his comment got deleted and then he got a message about bullying, whatever. What? So the reason why I'm telling you that is because I've received some comments on my channel from a little weasel. Now, what type of weasel is this? And his comments are coming through. Like he's been nasty. Uh, the really, really not nice comments. Now, one of the comments, he called me a transgender fucking woke something. Like, what type of fucking homophobe are you? You absolute vile fucking creature. And even if I was, what the fuck would it have to do with you? You know? Yeah, don't stand for that shit. That is fucking foul. That is absolutely fucking foul. But I will tell you, and I'll tell you once. The only time it will look like I haven't got a penis is when I'm a foot deep up your mum's fucking asshole. Boof! Boof! So stick that in your fucking pipe and smoke it, you fucking weasel. Fucking weasel. So yeah, let's get into the pickups. We'll go with Girthy Dicks, I mean Asterix and the Secret Mission. This game has been a lot harder for me to find than the other Asterix. I'm just looking around, I can't see where it is to give you the other name. 
I don't know, but this is the secret mission, or and the secret mission. Now, when I was purchasing this, we had a classic one with brown paper bag sort of cover, and it was the same price. Now, I know sometimes it can be more valuable, but I don't want to go down the route of getting those classic boxes, because classic boxes ain't what I do on any system, you know? And then before you know it, I've got this one, and then I want classic one or other. Nah. So I've stuck with original game. Yeah. And as always, people, everything is always boxed and complete. Apart from some new pickups, which I picked up today. And I will explain the reason why. Is it a new collection coming on? It could be so. Oh, I could be so girthy, 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 girthy. I could be so girthy in love. Oh, yeah. I don't know. We've got Sigai, a.k.a. Brown Eye. This was a great game back in the day. Yeah, I've got this myself, but I don't know how it plays these days. It's been a long time since I've played this. I've noticed as well, this cover seems to have really faded every copy that I saw. Usually with no manual. And I've noticed that the artwork, for some reason, doesn't really fit. And I'm like, I've seen that quite a bit. Is it true? So I pulled my copy out and I'm like, mine's same. Very odd people. But yeah, I remember that as a great shooter, a great schmoke. And it's done by Tato. Oh. So, I think this one in the pink, two in the stink, is going to be an absolute fucking beauty. I'm looking forward to kind of playing all these. And that is a winner. Oh, before I get into any more pickups, one of my mugs is going to get hand delivered to an unsuspecting person. Mmm, you're not going to have a clue until you get given it in your hand. So yeah, I'm not going to say who, even if you put a comment saying who, I'm not going to tell you because it's going to be a big surprise. But yeah, somebody's going to get that hand delivered. Is it true? It's true. We've got Death Smiles 1, 2. Mm. For the PS4 this time, originally I'm thinking, well, do I get it for the Switch? The Switch version was, I think it was a few pound more. And I was like, look, I get trophies on PlayStation, you know? And I'm like, mm, I'll get it on PlayStation, or do I? So I went on CEX, had a quick look. That was selling on CEX for like 50 plus pounds. And for the money that I got it for, I'm thinking, whoa, I could make a straight tenner just in trade for the money that I bought it for. And I'm like, it's got to be a PS4 version. And for me, earning them trophies, it gives me something to work towards, you know? So it keeps me at games, it keeps me at games. Look what trophies left. Oh yeah, I'll go for that. And that is the only reason, to be honest, and the value, which I thought it's not worth me buying a Switch version at all. Plus, like I say, I always believe that PS4 versions, PS5, will run better than the Switch would. So yeah, if that ain't good, or that ain't in the pink, there's something really wrong. Wonder Boy in Monster World. Ooh. Yep. All boxing complete. Now, this is the last Wonder Boy that I need for him, for the mass system. So, bring up! Yes! Oh, girthy boy! Swinging it like a grandfather clock. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Yes. This has been hard to find, to be honest, out in the wild. It really has. Uh, the others were fairly easy. But yeah, that's been a swine. Um, at the same time, believe it or not, as the Asterix, I could have picked up the bag version of this. And I'm like, nah. Nah. We need the old school one. So yeah, Wonder Boy. In Monster Girth World. It is what it is, people. You know it. Right. So, girth type. Mm. 
great game great game now this really isn't kind of up to my standards i'll be honest with you it's not something i'd usually pick up in this condition um but the price pff, i would have been an absolute mug not to pick it up for that price and it is all complete so yeah our type for the super famicom sometimes games are too cheap to turn down and you've got to do it you know and it is a great game street fighter x plus a is that plus a no i don't know 3d fighting worth fighting for if i remembered it like i did back when it definitely isn't worth fighting for but we'll see um Obviously, at these times, I was playing Sega Naomi and CPS2, etc. And this didn't sort of cut it for me. But it'd be good to go back and actually see. Now, this game, if anybody's got it, can they let me know? But there's two instruction manuals with it. And to me... They look the same. So I don't know if it's got a spare manual. I'm guessing it could have. Because at first I'm like, oh yeah, one's got German, Dutch, etc. And then one's English. Well, it ain't, they're both English. So I really don't know. I'm like, one if it's two manuals for the price of one. Boom! Yes! What else can you do? Be rude not so. Now, these are the games where I said... Um, but not like me to pick up at all. I've never showed loose games on this channel because I don't buy them loose. Uh, loose. Well, I told you I did for the Super NES, for that box. Now, the seller who was selling R Type, he got some Famicom games, and I'm like, I love Famicom. Now, my heart will always lie with Sega Mass System, you know? It was a big part of my childhood. But the Famicom was still up there too. Like the Famicom had some absolute beautiful games. Famicom, Nintendo, normal Nintendo, original Nintendo, whatever. Had got some great, great games. And the Famicom's library is massive. Now, if I had to personally say what was the best console for games... I'll probably say Nintendo, but then I've said my heart lies with Mass System. But there is some corker games. So we're like, look, I'm buying these Mass System for the little one. He needs to see the other side. You know? Because, yeah, some people get stuck with, like, oh, I prefer Sega over Nintendo, I prefer Xbox over PlayStation, whatever, whatever. You've got to respect them all. You know, you might have a preference, which... You'll see that and you'll be like, oh, fucking Xbox lover. I'm more PlayStation. Always have, always will be. But do I still like Xbox? Yeah, I do. So, yeah, these Famicom games, hopefully he likes them because they're some absolute beauties. So, we've got Commando by Capcom. Great game. It used to be a great game. I still remember it as being a great game. And we shall see. But yeah, I don't like Famicom carts. Um, different colours, etc. And yeah, my Famicom are all boxed and complete as standard. But there's no way I'm going down this route for him. And besides, um, I think they'll look fairly cool when they all lined up in different colours and stuff, you know. So yeah, Commando. This one's a little bit boring for uh, Famicom cart. But I do like the colour, and that is Popeye. Fucking Girth's Eye. Oh, yes. When he gets his spinach. So, yeah, there's not much to see on, obviously, a cart only. Now, this one is done by Hudson Soft. 1986. And now on camera, I can't remember the name of the game. Hmm. It'll come to me. If it doesn't, I'll leave it here now.
on a voiceover. Ninja Hattori Kun. So yeah, looking forward to playing all of them games. Like my thoughts straight away, if there's going to be any stinker for me, I'm thinking it's going to be Street Fighter fucking X plus anal. You know, that's the only one I'm a bit doubtful about. The others I'm expecting being decent. But you do never know, I've been surprised before. So yeah, it kind of is what it is. But until next time, people, you know what time it is. It's motherfucking girth time, Mr. Tropicana. Tell your nan to lick on my banana. Boo!